So we're going to get into the game. Uh, I think they're shuffled up. Uh, I do like this matchup for Travis, but I, I don't think it's a gimme. I, I think that yeah. uh, clearly he, he needs to have a decent start. He can't have a garbage hand right. where he doesn't see wild side for a while like we saw in that first game in the top eight against Ahmed. He's going to need to draw the right part of his deck. I think yeah. Imp's going to help a lot. Uh, I think legwork will be nice, but we, ETF does what it does. Yeah, similarly, uh, Pacer, is, if he gets off to a fast start. and uh, gets, This is not a good ETF good opening hand yeah, at all. Again. But if he gets off to a fast start and gets some yeah. good protected servers up, then Travis is going to really have a hard time sort of catching back up, especially without the Siphon variant. In this you know, match. I think Faust decks, they, they can struggle if you get to, you <laughs> saw the game against Colby, right, where you get this <laughs> huge super no. server yeah. that you yeah. can't get into. But I do think Travis's deck is as well equipped as you're going to be for a Faust deck, given that Max just has that crazy draw engine that's already built in. So I, I think it's going to be uh, a good matchup. I, I think Pacer just needs to get the uh, get the Adonis's and the Eve online. I mean, it's the same, right? It's the same fundamentals of any ETF game. Uh, but he is definitely going to be under some pressure with Faust. Uh, needs to get the Turing on the remote, and uh, and needs to get some protection upgrades. So we are off to the races. So Pacer looking at an opening hand. That is noticeably better yeah. than what he had the first go. Plenty around. of econ. He's got ice that he needs. So I like how he leads with the Eve instead of the Adonis. Yep. Because if he runs it, it's going to be a much bigger burden yep. to trash. Travis, on the other hand, for the th third or fourth game in a row under the camera, has drawn the levy into his opening. Yeah, hand. right. <laughs> Not quite when you want to see it, but it's it happens. So brutal, yeah. All right, so we got a couple agendas coming into the hand. Uh, but we do there's have Turing. A biotic. Yeah, there's Turing, which is great remote cover. A right, biotic I imagine and money. he's going to want to get uh, this Adonis online yeah. at some point in that he, remote. I think he drops the Adonis. And after he's made some money, he can afford to just go for the biotic score out of that. Server. Yeah. All right, so we've got Katie. <coughs> if he wants to play the long game, we've got that available. Yeah. All right, yeah. Go back with him. I think that makes a lot of sense, and that's a real nice card to see early. Because he's only playing, I think, the one of in the deck. So seeing that early in both this match and the last is nice. Yeah. Needs to, yeah, put that. There you go. All right, so so far, Pacer's just drawing agendas, basically. And yeah. uh, we'll see if he gets this Adonis online. Yeah, I think he puts, OK, yeah, I was going to say, I think he puts a, an agenda in that server just to force Travis to run the econ and then Hopefully, just give him a scoring one. Mm -hmm. Two levies oh, in wow. Travis's so hand. Is he going to yeah, bust through the Turing? Turing. I think he does. I would. I would. You've got two levies in hand? Oh, wow. He does. Wow, bounces. I think with two levies in hand, you just go for it, and you're okay sacrificing one levy. So the interesting the thing, turn. right? Travis is going to. Uh, but on the other hand, he could run hand. Or you just could do just that. score <laughs> one. Again, what do I know about this? Uh, yeah. But uh, if, if Pacer does decide to score out, then. Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, Pacer is not going to be happy about this at all. And this is this is what I said earlier. If you can get Pacer on Corp first and get, like, a solid win. So now you can't even score this agenda out to hide in yeah. Turing, right? Now, granted, I doubt that that uh, Travis even thinks it's an agenda at this point, yeah. given that he bounced. Yeah. But if you don't see it rezzed pretty soon, you might go back to check. Well, I think he, you can assume it's been an upgrade then in that case. Yeah. Although that begs the question of why wouldn't he have installed sure. like Breaker Bay right. or something? So it's you, you can think maybe it's an Asher Caprice, um, and that might be worth going back in. So we've got a little bit of money and to David, protect ourselves. From David's going to help get in there. All right, so we really need to get. Uh, I mean, he, he's obviously off to a great start, but we do need to get the uh, the Wild Side mm -hmm. engine going at some point if he wants to. Uh, Keep Pacer on his heels, but yeah, yeah we're just going to well, check his feet. Pacer has you can. all of the game in his hand and on the board. So if Travis uh, just yeah, I think that's right to trash that. that. Yeah, for sure. See a fresh card, and oh yeah, that's a huge pickup. I can tell you right now, Pacer is like on his way to being on tilt and going into a game two against his noise. That's about the best place you could be. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, I mean, he's got no money yeah. assets to really force Travis to run, and he just and lost the breaker going. bay grid. Yeah, going to zero to do this too when you've seen a medium in the bin no, no, is just yeah. too risky. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Very deep. Uh, do you know what that ice over R and D is? I didn't see it go down. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. And so that's the problem is if, I mean, you feel like you need to res that. Yeah, you're in Adonis. a really precarious spot right now. Yeah. 
but if you don't res those Adonises, then how do you come back into the game, yeah, really? I mean, th these HP decks don't play enough Operation Economy to not stabilize yeah. without them. I think maybe you install Ash on the, um, the, the Adonis that's down now. Maybe install just a new Adonis in an empty server next turn. That's giving you credits, and you can res that first Adonis then, too. Right. And that puts you back on four, essentially, yeah. at the beginning no, of the next turn. You have to commit to that at some point. Yeah. Pacer just trying to figure out how to navigate his way through this. Clearly not the opening he was looking for. Yeah, it wasn't. It, I mean, it started off an okay mulligan yeah. with, with an agenda and a bunch of money, but then the, the flood just came right in. Okay, so he's putting okay. just the Adonis down? Is that what that was? Or a yeah, beta Adonis test? and take two. Okay. Yeah. It would be a super ballsy play if he just dropped. Oh, and that's test. nice. Career fair out, liberated. That's perfect. Yeah, now he's just got all the money. Um, that's click one, click two. I'll take, um, sorry. All right, so just loading up liberated. Taking some money. Mm -hmm. Three will run this. Adonis, yeah, I think yeah, trash. Yeah, you right? absolutely trash. I mean, maybe that yeah. one, because it's the exposed one, you would wait until he reses it, but you can't. Make him find the next yeah, one. Yeah, you can't. Run into that. So I think at this point, Pacer reses the initial, yeah. Now, what I would have done there is I would have checked the other remote, just so you don't telegraph that you're, like, right. not even thinking about resing yeah. it, because th that's just me. <laughs> Mind games. Because it's a good point. He's a David away from just checking that for the yeah, heck of it. From being on game point. So yeah, Pacer, I mean, really, all okay, right. he just scores it out. I I'm don't okay disagree with that, with yeah, that at all. I'm perfectly fine with that. So I don't recall the R&D card, but I think Travis knows he needs to pounce at this point. You've got the Faust on board. Yeah. You've got an imp counter to let you dig deeper in R&D, so there's no way I'm not attacking Do we know this turn. Pacer has another agenda in hand, or, or am I... Misremembering. Um, them. I don't know. Okay. Four. Four cards in your hand. Eli. So he's either gonna. What click is this? He might just click through. I yeah, would he just could click, click through, through this. I think that's all I would do. I like clicking through here a lot. Yeah, you don't really. I mean. He's got good uh, cards in his hand. Yeah, good cards in his hand. That's fun. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I guess. I don't know that I. Hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah that's you definitely want to really do an RD decision. run. No question about that's that. Fair. You need to yeah. see R&D at this fair. point. Especially with no ice rest. Yeah, I would imp that okay. for sure. Yeah. Pacer's in a pretty tough spot here. Yeah, there's an any... Oh, no, that's Jackson. Okay, there's a Vitruvius in here. So. so the Bionic's a dead card right now. Jackson could definitely help. Yeah. I think he knows, Pacer, that he needs to just start jamming cards. Yeah. Make Travis waste his time. I think that's his yeah, best absolutely. path forward. Sure, Gamble's really good for Travis here, though. Oh, he would really like to imp that, actually. Okay. Yeah, and then he'll sure Gamble for three. Three. Maybe just drop Katie. No, okay. Yeah, it's been interesting. I mean, he's held that KD forever. Yeah. I mean, it's because he's found other sort of better money sources, burst money. I'm not a f huge fan of KD and Max just because Max is on a natural clock. He does yeah. have the two levies, but it's right. just one of those where it's kind of like if you're not building a deck where it's always good to use her, it's, it's sometimes it, it becomes difficult to justify. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. So we got Wildside finally. Wild side. Both turntables in the bin, notably. So that puts a limit on the memory and takes that ability out yeah. to the levies again. Um, all right, so we're going to clear that. I think we definitely want to get wild side going. All right, trying to see if uh, Pacer's going to use Jackson. Seems like he was second guessing for a second there, which I think is fair because I think maybe the draw might be more impactful here. Yeah. But if he can just get back this economy and, and maybe the Caprice, I think he took the Caprice back too. Yeah, then I think that's a bigger deal for him to try and get back in the game. It's sort of like IG, yeah. not IG, I'm sorry. It's sort of like RP, where like the longer you can have your economy in the game, the, the better chance you're going to have if you can just make it to late game. 
but against this max deck, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough. Yeah, I like that play, waiting until this turn to put the wild side yep. down. All right, so Pacer, he's stabilized at this point. I mean, yep. we, we can do things at this point. We've got ice. We can start double icing servers, make it difficult for Travis to at least uh, get his multi-axis going. Right. Career fair and mimic in the heap. See, now this is something I talked with. Travis about he added E3 to the deck. This is why we yeah. thought he had Siphon earlier. I think this is the change he made to include make uh, yeah, enough he influence showed, yeah, for he E3. Showed this to me yesterday. So yeah, so this is going to come in real handy in this matchup. Just knifed Eli, which is a pretty big deal. Is there still an agenda in Pacers? Hand? I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think he's still got the Vitruvius. So that legwork, whenever he finds it, is going to be two archive memories in the end for base or not. Great. But at this point, he could even consider using them. <laughs> yeah, he has Wild Sign. Yeah. You're yeah, just trying to figure out number of clicks that have been spent. Um, all right, so we need to get a levy going pretty soon. Luckily, unlike the last game, Travis is at least at a point where he has enough money to actually use it. Oh, it's not an ABT. I'm so disappointed. One, two, I bet so if it was an ABT, four. he would fire it. Wow, these are really, really good draws. These for are him. good. Two. Free money. The same old thing for my levy. Has he not seen legwork yet? He's only got one of. I don't yeah, think so he has. Uh, I don't remember seeing it discarded. How many cards are here? Pacer trying to figure out uh, how deep he can go with Faust. Yeah. All right, so trash. Oh, that's Finds nice. Like a I think he's going back. Yeah, I'm going back. Breaker Bay, I think you trash that. Yeah. You have yep. enough money at this point that you can afford to keep Pacer off with more money like that. At this point... You've trashed so many upgrades that you can. F you, I mean, you're basically camping that Turing remote at this point. Yeah. You, you've got David. Yeah. You've got Faust. You've got the card draw online. Would be nice to find pancakes when he levies or if Architect he levies. Architect is good over HQ. Yeah. All right. So archive. Biotic. Yeah. I like yeah. that. And what that does is it also sort of baits out an HQ run if Travis is worried about. Okay, he's got it in hand. All right, so we find pancakes and career fair. So that's nice. So at least we can get a click back from now on. Oh, this, that's a yeah, it's a perfect it three cards. These two. But I mean, like it's random which one you choose. It is random. Oh, okay. I just chose to do wild side that time. Oh, okay. Next time it won't matter. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious. All right, so we got uh, we got pancake online. I imagine he's gonna want to sure gamble before we levy. Yeah, I think so. And install Katie. As well. Last yeah, I mean, Katie is just oh, rotted in his hand. Okay, so he's going to do it next turn. Oh, he's going to have to discard stuff, though. Okay. So he'll drop. Does he have Samuel insult? No. He'll have to drop everything except the Katie and the Levy, I think. Yeah. Or he can. Oh, right. Okay, that's why. Yeah. I forgot about that. And this is where it's so big of a matchup. That's why he likes it so much. Pacer doesn't have any agents in hand, we know that, so. Wasn't really a threat there, but Travis is making him spend money, which is why it's a big deal. All right, so it's just seeing more ice, uh, which again, it's not so relevant because all the asset up, uh, all the asset economy's just been trashed. It just has not been able to get that going this game. And even now, I mean, he has some remotes up and running, but uh, I mean, he has the archive memories, but it's just, uh, yeah. He's not in a position to be able to do it. I mean, he can't protect a global yeah. at this point uh -huh. at all. Two turnings, 
in a row would be rough for Travis, but only after he's been through the Davids, right? Yeah, I think what's going to be important is what Travis sees off the levy. Uh, if if yeah. it's something that's really slow that doesn't provide a lot of immediate economy, I think that it gives Pacer some time. Yeah. But if Travis gets the legwork in hand this next go around, Pacer's right. at the point where there's not a whole lot he can do to manage his hand as effectively as he could before. He does have that archive memories. He does have some Jacksons left, but uh, I think the card buildup's going to get real pretty quick because that remote is locked at this point. There's really not a great play here for Pacer. I mean, he doesn't have, have enough money to, to do anything. Yeah, I mean, I mean he can Viper stall ice for an even trade, right? It's almost like just take credits. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, I think he just wanted it for the credits. And right. There's the legwork. <laughs> can he afford to legwork? He would and probably levy. get paid off. He would. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I think he's he's saying, I don't care about the KD. It's fine. Yeah. I haven't used her all game at this point. I think this is totally worth it. So, yeah, this could be game point right here. Yep. There we go. Gets paid off. Good run. So, so now we're going to levy. And let's, uh, let's see some fresh cards. Yeah. Really good levy here. I mean, that's, you know, ideal. You get the whole deck back get five new cards off of zero cards. Yeah, because if you get something like Sure Gamble or Liberated in Career Fair, then Travis can challenge immediately. Yeah. I mean, he's not hes not even taking a turn off hardly. Pacer asking to look through the arc or the heat before it goes back. Maybe a little surprised that he didn't see any account siphons. But two yeah, levies. The, the only card choice there hasn't really done much for Travis is Katie. I mean, he hasn't shown, in theory, Well, this in this game. Yeah, in this game. It's it's the kind of game where it seems like this is where it would be impactful in the right. slower, more yeah. grindy game. But uh, Travis, I mean, he's had other good economy options. Yeah, that's no the question, thing is he found the Liberated. So he hit two of the three sure gambles at least. Well, there's right. one and there's a sure gamble. Yeah, I, I think this is well, a perfectly, so. perfectly good levy to get him back in the action. So now he's going to run R&D. Force a res at least. Yeah. Nope. Sees a Cyberdex. Okay, I was like, is that yeah, a shard? Yeah, interesting. Do you make him draw that? Or a fragment, rather? I think but I no. like making him draw that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you care about it. Purge. Purge. <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. Brought up by Pacer. The purge still happens. He didn't announce. I win. Trying to win on a technicality. Good job, Pacer. <laughs> All right, so we've got some more ice. Not going to do a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, the Enigma's not bad attacks if you drop it in front of HQ, but at this point you just need money, so yep. I, I think you just take three credits. <laughs> Alright, so Travis, I think, trying to figure out his options. Pacer just really looking yeah. down to figure out how do I get back into this? I mean, Biotics scored him his points along with that bluffed out agenda. I don't know that that's an option right now. Uh, I think he has really got to hope to fade a medium, honestly. There's a this career point. fair liberated account. And there it is. <laughs> this is why you play these cards. Yeah, man, that's. You get back in the action. He mills really fast. two daily casts, and as a reward, he gets the liberated. Mm -hmm. That's great. But this is the beauty of the deck. I mean, you yeah, expect right. every time you levy, it's going to be really impactful. Yep. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is he couldn't levy back in the imp. There was no, nothing yeah. he could install to yeah. get it. I mean, it, it is what it is, but it certainly would help as he's doing these R&D digs. And a short sure gamble. So he's set on money. Now he just needs to Well, get that it. is n probably the last agenda in the deck that Pacer really wanted. It's something that can't be biotic. Mr. Cavus himself making an appearance in the chat with a spectacular <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> All right, so trying to bluff out the city. Well, I say bluff out. I think he's telegraphing it pretty, uh, pretty hard right now. Uh, All right, so this is the type of situation where Travis needs to pounce all over this. 
make yeah. pace or spend money to keep you out. He's he's got enough between liberated. He's got enough money to get in here, or at least drain pacer. Yeah. There's nothing that good in his hand, to be quite honest, that he would mind pitching in my mind. But yeah, I'd just make sure I have enough money with liberated, and go. I think it's exactly the right play. Viper Eli, interesting. So he's going to lose two, and then, yeah, happy to Faust things to make it through. Yeah, just trying to manage his clicks. Uh, so if he has to go back there again, he make sure he has enough cards. So. All right, so Ash, I think I just... He pays for the trace, accesses, yep. steals the NAPD. Perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think based there on that point, he's just frustrated and just trying to force the yeah, issue. Yeah, trying to force uh, action. Yeah. Would yeah. rather just go to the noise game. Yeah. And that's the thing, is both of these players have a great matchup against HB uh, well, to a certain the, extent. The, so. the bracket is reset at yep. this point, so we're going to play one game for all the marbles. He's trying to find uh, Blast Rose. Right. That makes sense. That's right. Oh, that he did tell me that's what he... <laughs> he didn't have that much money. That was his tech. I just build up there and... Yeah, Blacklist would have would have wrecked wow. this game. Nothing you can do against that. Blacklist deck, for sure. But yeah, Travis played that one well, navigated very well. The levy delivered when it had to. It, you know, it got him right back in the action. And again, you saw it was relevant right there. Yeah, right. If he doesn't have career liber in career uh, fair and liberated accounts, uh, getting through that Ash server and stealing the NAP is a different uh, conversation. But yeah. The fact that liberated 100%. just kept him rich right away, uh, just. You know, again, good break for Travis, capitalized on it, made yep. the run when he needed to.